So coming up, it's a yin and yang fight, like I said. And we'll start by showing the equipment. So we've only got Kate Siv, unfortunately. He's got a golden megaphone, such Embracer and the Genji Gloves. He's got MP Absorb linked to Fire, ATP Boost, Enemy Skill, Magic Up and First Strike. For Summon, he's got a Phoenix. He's got Fire linked to Magic Focus, Fire linked to Swift Cast and Lightning linked to Elemental. Lightning linked to Elemental in the Armor and A to B Charge Rate up. Yin and Yang is weak to Fire. Well, when he's, do, when he's in the melee form anyway, and when he's in the magic form, sometimes he'll do ice and thunder attacks. The ice is easy to dodge, so that's why I'm absorbing lightning. So what we want to do is get two ATBs ready. And when he's yin, I think it's yin, the one which just will melee attacks, you'll use fire level three. Do not use fire level three when yang is active. That's one which is magic attacks because he's more resistant to magic. Wait until yin is active, like I say, the melee based one. And then you want to do fire level 3, and that will cause him to take aim and do his kind of explosion move, which will pretty much kill you and put him to 1 HP at the same time. You will survive because you've got Reprieve active, as Kate Sif, it's one of his default abilities in Folios, so make sure that's unlocked. And then once he's taken, aimed, and pretty much almost killed you both for you, he's going to hit him with one attack, and that will finish him off, guys. Yet, yeah, nice, easy way to beat Yin and Yang. <laughs> 